three in the first two heats. These guys can go at any moment. That's David Patton. Outside, the number 87 machine is Ron Lowell. Steve Crash Craddock in car number 65. The Cadillac is next. That's a Cadillac Seville. And outside, the number 36 machine is Ricky Roberts. Bobby Dragon, car number 51, one of the high flyers, will start inside row number three. Outside, the number 32 of Rick Dennis. Dizzy Dean Gallison in the number seven machine is next. The 81 of Ralph Rockwell. Point leader here at Thunder Road in the Outer Lumber Street Stock Division, Jimmy Young in car number one. And a half a lap down of the yellow, Lloyd Moritz in the 03 machine. Outer Lumber Street Stocks with a lovely looking start. They'll get a take one. Not exactly what Chief Starter John Hubbard was looking for that time as the 01 of David Patton in a good deal more of a hurry than Ron Lowell to get this thing under green. They'll try it again in three. The 01, Patton, Ron Lowell in the 87. This time it looks a little better. Down to the line, they come and the green flag is out. Side by side racing at the top of turn two, the 87 Lowell takes over the lead. Ron Lowell in the Ford Thunderbird, 87 year leader. On the outside, the 36, Ricky Roberts. Ricky Roberts in the 36, on the high groove goes to second. The 01, Patton now is third. 32, Rick Dennis. The 81, Ralph Rockwell looking for the hole inside. 32, Dennis down to the low groove. Shuffling the deck in turn four. 32, Rick Dennis goes to the number three spot. Then it's the 81, Ralph Rockwell, Jimmy Young in the one. Out of four, the 87, Ron Lowell, still your leader. Ron Lowell, car number 87. The 36 of Ricky Roberts. Rick Dennison on the move now. Jimmy Young, the point leader in car number one, starting to move it up. Young in the Oldsmobile on the inside in car number one, sideways, bounces off the 81. And Ralph Rockwell, the 81 machine, holds him off. 87, Lowell, the 36 of Roberts, Rick Dennison, the 32, your top three. Once again, the number one machine going to the inside. Jimmy Young trying to pick it up. Young on the inside. Rockwell on the outside. We've got two laps to go now. for the number four spot. Jimmy Young on the inside. White flag coming out. We've got one to go. One last to go now. Jimmy Young takes over fourth. Goes to the outside for third. Final time down the back straightaway. Checkered flag coming out. Out of turn number four. 87. Ron Lowell, your winner. Ricky Roberts is second. Rick Dennis is third. Then Jimmy Young and Ralph Rockwell. Out of the back of the pack by the point leader, Jimmy Young in car number one, as he and Ralph Rockwell came from the rear. But at the front of the pack, the outside pole start was all he needed, as the Ford Thunderbird will carry the checkers in heat number one. Ladies and gentlemen, the 87, your winner, Ron Lowell. That young Mr. Ro Mr. Lowell on a bit of a roll over the last three weeks. He's won his heat the last three times out in its Allen Lumber Street Stock Division as that Ford Thunderbird beginning to percolate here on the high banks. So Ron Lowell starts the afternoon off in fine fashion. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, if you would, as he returns the colors in turn number four, a round of applause for Ron Lowell, your winner in Heat War. on sale right down front of the flag stand. We're over $1,300 and counting. They're just a dollar a chance. You folks right here in front, you'll never get a better chance than you got right now. Just a dollar a chance for the 50-50 raffle right now. All right, heat number two. And we've got a couple of flippers in this one for the last couple of weeks. The double zero, Joe Steffen, who three weeks ago was on his lid over the top of turn two as your pole sitter. Outside point, the number 54 is Steve Lovely. 
Spuds McKenzie, a car number 68, will start third. Outside, the 71 of Bill Barkham. Bill Barkham had it on his lid in the infield two weeks ago in the 71. Car number zero, Mark Barnier, goes in the fifth spot. Outside, the number 60, the Deathmobile of Rosaire Sear. Chet Devaney Jr. in car number 14, the 85 is Cal Pullen. Mike Rivers in the number 47, and a new driver. First time out, the 17, Robert Pat. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, it's been that kind of a year for Wild Bill Barkham. Two weeks ago, he was upside down through the infield. Earlier on in practice today, he broke the right rear axle and the right rear tire went wayward on him, and now the left has decided to join the party as well. Uh, we'll try it again. The double zero, Joe Steppen, 54, Steve Lovely, then Spuds McKenzie and the Deathmobile, Rosaire Sear in row two. Down to the line they come. Heat number two, go three. Keep an eye on that big black number 60. He's already put a whack on the 54, and he's looking for more. Side by side, all the way around, double zero, your leader. Joe Stephan at the line. Stephan on the inside. 54, Steve Lovely on the outside. Then Spuds McKenzie in the Deathmobile. Inside gets the break now. Stephan, your leader. And here comes the Spudster. Spuds McKenzie in the 68 going to work. Jack McKenzie said, my name was Spuds before they ever thought of a dog. On the outside for second place. Whoa, the zero. Knock it, knock it on the door in three. Here comes the Spudster on the outside. Joe Stafford trying to hold on to the lead down low. Spuds McKenzie outside. Here comes Mark Barnier into it. The zero trying to push his way through, and I do mean push. Out of four they come, everybody under the blanket. Double zero, Stephan. McKenzie and the 68 having a great battle for the lead. Back comes the Spudster on the outside. The 68 taking over. Look at that. Both push out of turn four. Leading on each other into one. Back comes the double zero. The Spudster's out of it and Mark Barnier takes over. Oh, man. Shuffling the deck and now the zero is loose. Here comes Mark Barnier leading on each other in four. and back to second. Then the 85, Cal Pruitt, and the Deathmobile with one lap remaining. One lap to go. The gloves are off for second place. Mark Barnier out in front. The double zero, Joe Stephan. 85, Pruitt, and the Deathmobile's into the infield. Checkers are out. Barnier in your order. Joe Stephan is second. Cal Pruitt, Mike Rivers, and the Deathmobile. Oh, yes. If you ever thought you wanted to build yourself a street stock, that should have changed your mind. 85, Cal Pullen comes home with the third spot. Joe Stephan, the double zero, has to settle for second. Now, ladies and gentlemen, from the number five post position, the Barnier's Truckee. Car number zero, Mark Barnier, your winner. Heat number two for the Crunch Bunch. Half the battle for these hotshot street stock drivers, the high point guys, is waiting it out until the guys in front get done flopping around. Mark Barnier waited his turn, was, well, fairly patient, and when he saw the hole, it was all over. Barnier thoroughly enjoying this victory lap. Out of turn number four, ladies and gentlemen, let's get those hands together for your heat two. Winner Mark Barnier, count of a zero. All right. Some of the heavy hitters now set to go in heat number three. This ought to be a good one. The 09, Reg Daly is your pole sitter. Outside, the number six of Wild Willie Harry. The number 78, Don Lowell, starts in third. Outside, the 77, the old Queen Mary itself for Frenchie LaFountain. Last Thursday night's winner, the 25, Steve Copping, draws the number five first position. Outside, the 38 for Wolf and his Claude Cross. 
Terry Real, in car number 11. Next in line, outside, the number 48, the Enduro Warrior, Monty Lemaire from Morrisville. And riding shotgun, former track champion in this division here at Thunder Road, the 73, Craig Vance. Keep an eye on the back, the 48, the 73, the 38, and the 25. They'll be making some holes coming to the front. E3 down to the line, go! Oh, nine, Ridge Daly, the six of Bill Herring, side by side. The 78, Lowell, trying to make himself some room up the middle. Look out, he's thinking about free wide. Into turn number four, they go, oh, leaning on each other. Don Lowell, 78, fights his way out of the box. He'll go to the lead on the back shoot. Lowell takes over the lead. Here comes Steve Copping, last week's winner is on the move. Topping in the 25, gets it to second. The 77, Steve LaFalta. Claude Cross in the 38, then the Warrior. Monty the Mayor in the 48 machine up to fifth. Sorting it out in four, down to the inside, 48, Monty LeMaire for the number four position. The 38, Claude Cross on the outside, here comes Steve Copping for the lead. Claude Cross goes to third in the Ford, Steve Copping the 25, looking for the lead in four. Steve Copping, broad slides it at the top of the hill, the 25, Copping going to work. The front of the pack, 78, Don Lowell, 25, Steve Topping, two to go. Two laps to go for the 78, Lowell. Here comes Claude Cross on the inside. Cross taking away the number two spot. Topping trapped up on the outside as the white flag is up. White flag is out. his Maalox on the way to the track. He's got guts. The 78 threw everything at it but the kitchen sink. Steve Copping kept his foot in it and he wins it by less than a half a car length at the line. How about it, ladies and gentlemen, the flashback. Chevrolet, Steve Copping, your winner in Heat 3. Great race for the Crunch Bunch. Update. On the Parkstown favorite driver pole, Pepsi Flying Tiger standings, Red Mead the leader. Joey LeCare second and a three-way tie for third. Kip Stockwell, Berger Blake, and Bob McCaskill. Street Stocks, Brian Williams, Doug Murphy, and Perry Fleming the top three. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? A great run for Steve Copping as the 25 takes it in heat three. Oh, yes, there's more. It seems there are always more street stocks. Heat four set to roll. Pole position, the 56 of Rick Flurry. He flipped last week. The number five, Purple Perry Fleming in the Dean's Auto Parts machine. Doug Murphy in car number 80, the 19, Jerry Houston. Brandon Moody in car number 58. The 72 machine is Tom Vermeck. Brian Brian Williams in car number 64, the 30. Is Brent Courier and out back Wendell Daly in the 93. We're set to go. Heat number four for the Crunch Bunch down to the line for green. Purple Perry on the outside takes it over. Perry Fleming in the number five. On the outside, the 19, Jerry Humiston. Humiston with two feature wins already in 91. Humiston out of the middle of the pack in second now. The 56, Rick Flurry in the third spot. Then a four-car jam for fourth. Doug Murphy in the 80. 30, 
Brent Courier, Flying Brian and Tom Burnett. Brent Courier on the inside, the number 30, looking to pick up fourth. He'll do it in turn three. Courier to fourth. Flying Brian on the inside gets fifth place. Brent Courier and Brian Williams coming out of the back of the pack as a tandem. Courier the 30. Williams the 64 on the outside. Halfway down this time. The 30. Courier goes to third. Williams on the outside is fourth as they begin to close in on the leaders. Purple Perry on top. Jerry Humiston second in the 19. to go this time. Two to go for the number five of Perry Fleming. Jerry Humiston, Brent Courier, and Flying Bryant. Brian Williams down. Oh, look out! Jerry Humiston takes it away. White flag is out. We've got a new leader. Oh, Purple Perry gives the 19 a whack in one. Fleming in the five, trying to get it back. Checkered flag coming out. Checkers out in four. Down to the line, it's Jerry Humiston, your winner. Purple Perry second. Brent Courier third, and Brian Brian Williams. Good one at the front. As Purple Perry got a little bit high in turn three, he may have had some help, but hey, this is the street stock division. That's all legal here. And Jerry Humiston will take the honors in heat number four. Number 19, Humiston from Barry Winter. Well, Brian Brian Williams finished up fourth in that heat, and believe it or not, that is his first heat race loss of the season. He had won all five of his qualifying races this year until tonight. the update. We're going to have a big one tonight. Over $2,000 now in the pot. Two grand in the pot. Somebody's going to take home a $1,000 bill or more at the Royal Triple Crown tonight. The double zero, Joe Steffen will be your pole sitter. Outside, con number 87, Ron Lowell. Perry Fleming in the number five will go third. And it's a brother combination. Tag team on the outside row, the 87 Ron Lowell, the 78 Don Lowell. Twin brothers on the outside of rows one and two. The number 19 machine, Jerry Humiston, will start in the fifth spot. Sixth is the zero of Mark Barnier. Steve Copping, car number 25, the 32 of Rick Dennis. Cal Poulin in the 85 machine. The 48 is Monty LeMaire and riding shotgun Brent Courier from Johnson, Vermont, car number 30. Pace cars in on the back shoot. Semi-feature time for the Crunch Bunch. Joe Steffen and Ron Lowell, Perry Fleming and Don Lowell. 87 and 78, ready to pull a tag team number off the top rope. Here they come. Green flag is out of the street, starts her way. Joe Steffen, half a car length in front, will lead him down the back straight away. 87, Ron Lowell. 78, Don Lowell. Ready to go door to door. Look out! There goes Steve Copping over the top. 25, Copping off of the pucker brush over turn three. Yellow flag is out. Caution flag on the speedway. That sometimes means something to these street stock guys, sometimes not. Double zero, Stephan. 87, Ron Lowell. Then Don Lowell and Mark Barnier. Set to go in three. Chief starter John Hover looks him over and sends him away with a green flag. Stephan on the inside again drives away with the lead. Now it's the Lowell brothers. 87 Ron, 78 Don. Mark Barnier in the zero on the outside. Look at that, he hit him again. I think the 78 car just doesn't like the number zero. Second time tonight, he's trying to put him in a fence. Uh-oh, three wide on the back stretch. Three wide on the back stretch will not work, and they sort it back out in plenty of time. Joe Stepp.
Rapid, double zero. 87, Ron Lowell, and keep an eye on the zero. Mark Barnier, he's got a shot at the triple crown here, and he's to the inside for the number two spot. Mark Barnier, the zero, down low for the number two position. Double zero, Stefan at the front. The zero, Mark Barnier, 87, Lowell, up on the point, out of turn number four. Over. The 32, Rick Dennis, will follow him down for the number two spot. Joe Stephan trying to throw! Oh! Cal pulling into the bills! Woohoo! Yellow flag is out. Yellow! Yellow, fellas! Yellow! They've now raced through four sets of lights. Oh, my. I've never seen those pit crews move so fast in my life. Mayor Jerry Humiston. Inside line will look to get the shuffle this time as they come down for the green. Out of four they go, and the green is out. Mark Barnier by a nose. The zero, but back comes Joe Stephan. The double zero trying to make it work on the outside lane. Barnier, your leader. Stephan second. Rick Dennis in the 32 to the inside. Oh, Peppa Perry throws a shoe. The five is around, and we've got yellow coming out. Yellow flag is Purple Perry tosses a shoe. Yellow, fellas, yellow. Oh, okay, yeah. Perry Fleming in the number five. Tossed the right rear shoe, and I, as a matter of fact, I think the right rear tire are going to be scored as completing one more lap in the car because it's out on the back chute somewhere. As the street stocks get set to shake it down. They'll try it again out of four. Green flag is out and they're away one more time. Mark Barnier inside has the lead again. Joe Stephan trying to shut the door, but Brent Courier puts a foot in it. The 30 moving up now. Brent Courier on the inside takes away second. Monty LeMaire up to third. Right flag is coming out this time. One lap to go in the semi for the street. One lap to go, and it's Mark Barnier, the zero out in front. Brent Courier in the 30. 48, Monty LeMaire to the outside. Chucker flag is up. Semi feature to Mark Barnier. Courier, LeMaire, Poulin, and Humiston, the top five. He's won his heat. He's got the semi. He'll run for the triple tonight. Mark Barnier, Connor Brazil, your winner. Over $2,300 in the 50-50 as of now. $2,300 and counting. Kate is just to my right, walking toward the start-finish line. Nancy's around here somewhere. If you haven't got a ticket, they're just a dollar a chance. Get one now. Twenty-three hundred in the pot. Somebody takes home half. Anyway. Main event of the night for the Crunch Bunch. We'll bring them all out for this one. Twenty-six cars slated to start this main. The Allen Lumber Street Stock, sanctioned by the American Pit Bull Association. We call them the Crunch Bunch. Pole position in the main event, car number double zero, the Northern Coal Company, Machine Joe Stephan. Outside point, car number 56, Rick Flurry. Row two on the inside, the 87 machine of Ron Lowell. Outside, the six of Bill Herring. Don Lowell in the 78 Chevrolet goes inside row number three, outside the number 80 for Montpelier, Doug Murphy. Frenchie LaFountain in the number 77, the 19 of Jerry Humiston side by side in row four. Row five to the 51, the Burlington bad boy, Bobby Dragon, and the zero of Mark Barnier. Rose Air Sear, the Death Mobile, car number 60 goes next in line, outside the number 38 from Walker, Claude Cross. Chet DeVerney Jr., the Gerber baby, car number 14, sits on the inside of row 7, outside the 64, flying Brian Williams. 
Row number eight, Rapid Ralph Rockwell and the Thunder Chicken. Car number 81, and on the outside last year, Street Stock Rookie of the Year, Cal Ford from Randolph in the 85. The Enduro Warrior, Monty LaMare, car number 48, goes next in line. Outside from Johnson, Vermont, car number 30, and Brent Courier. Street Stock Point leader coming in tonight here at Thunder Road. Jimmy Young from Morrisville in car number one starts next in line. Outside Young, two-time feature winner here at Thunder Road, Mike Rivers in car number 47. The 25, Thursday night's winner, Steve Copping from Barry. The number 11, the Ford of Terry Rio, also from Barry, Vermont. But in the final row, car number seven, Dizzy Dean Gallison in the Chevrolet Nova, and outside, car number 58, Brendan Moody. So Joe Steffen, 56, Rick Flurry, then Ron Lowell and Wild Willie Herring. Main event of the night for the Allen Lumber Street Stocks. Coming down to the line, go! Joe Steffen, double zero, takes the lead. The 87, Ron Lowell, 78, Don Lowell, tag team middle way to second and third. Three wide on the front straightaway, everybody gets through it. The thundering herd hits the back straightaway. Joe Stephan, the leader, followed by the Lowell brothers. 87, Ron, 78, Don, then Rick Flurry in the 56. Flying Lowell Brothers. Ron says, I'll hit him. Don says, I'll finish him off. Stephanie Leader. Lowell and Lowell. Rick Flurry and Bobby Dragon moving up. The 51. Bobby Dragon takes over the number five position. Right behind, here comes the Deathmobile. Rose Air Sear, the number 60 going up. Down the back straightaway, 51. The Burlington bad boy, Bobby Dragon on the outside wall. Brian Williams gets nailed. Look out, Jimmy Young gets into it. Oh, yo, yo, yellow flag. Yellow flag is out. What happened to Brian Williams? They torn the heck out of flying Brian. Nothing left on the front end. Stella's not a happy mama. is set to go on the back shoot. 25 copping will fall in at the rear, and here we go. Joe Stephan, look at him. He's trying to put him into the wall into yellow. Here they come. Green is out. Stephan, once again, is your leader on the back shoot. 87, Ron Lowell. 78, Don Lowell. Then Rick Flurry, Bobby Dragon, and the number four spot in closing. Whoa, one almost off the back chute. We got one in the infield. Cars all over the racetrack. Double zero. Joe Stephan is your leader. The 87. Ron Lowell. Bobby Dragon in the 51. Mark Barnier in the Deathmobile.
is last call for 50-50 tickets. We are over $2,600 in the pot. Last call for 50-50 right behind the announcer's tower right now. Barney are running for the triple crown. He's got a shot at it. Then Rosaire Sear, the 19 of Jerry Humiston, Frenchie LaFountain, and Claude Cross. The hot runners are coming to the front now. Here comes Joe Stefan. Wants it so bad he can taste it. Green is out. Bobby Dragon brings it around sideways. Whoa! Dragon gets together. Everybody straight. Somehow they made it. They're three wide and free, but everybody drives away from it. Brazil, Mark Barnier, side by side for third place. Bang! The 60 has it. Jerry Humiston caught him at 19. Downstairs now for the number four spot. Mike Rivers takes him three deep. Rivers puts the bump on Humiston and backs out of it. the 10 lap to go mark. Three check, one go. Fifty fifty girls, report in immediately please. Fifty fifty girls, report in immediately please. Bunch venting a little good old American aggression on the racetrack. Lots of fun. That was fun. As long as you didn't have to be out here, it was lots of fun. Oh, they're about to beat Joe Stephan to death out here. finisher, Rich Christensen of L.E. Farrell and Pepsi-Cola down to present the trophies. Third place, the 47, Mike Rivers tonight. Mike, congratulations, third place trophy. A little bit wild up there at the front. Yeah, was, this is a, it was a really rough, rough, rough race tonight. It was slippery, car 78, I got into a little bit. Coming out of the fourth turn, I backed out. Uh, 
I can only say I'm so, so, so very much sorry. It's just one of those things that's happened to me, and I can't say too much more about that. But I'd like to thank my sponsors, Bambino, Shana, Naz, Auto Electric, Vermont Oil Analysis. For now. Atta boy. Mike Rivers, car number 47, third tonight. Second place, the Burlington Bad Boy, back in victory lane once again. Bobby Dragon, the 51, congratulations. That's a little better, said so you had to start making A main. Second place in the A tonight, pretty good show. Yeah, I'll take it. Happy with second then? Sure am. All right, congratulations. Say hello to Rich Christensen from Pepsi. Got a trophy for you. Bobby Dragon, number two tonight. And a first time winner for the Crunch Bunch. They did not make it easy on him. The double zero, Joe Steffen. Come on down here, Joe. Congratulations, you've, uh, you've turned your season around rather nicely since three weeks ago when you got on your lid out there. Well, the car runs great, the hauler doesn't run, but the car runs good. How are you gonna get it home now? Well, uh, we'll figure that one out, but I'd like to thank my sponsors, Northern Coal and Oil, Winooski Press, DA Glasgow, uh, the crew, and everybody else that helped out. Nice job, congratulations. Thank you. Joe Steffen, double zero, ladies and gentlemen, your street stock winner tonight. Hit the road. All right, now the uh, the motorized fireworks are set to go. Pyrotechnics on uh, pyrotechnics on four wheels. Car number zero one, David Patton will start. Well, this is a huge B feature. Well, I guess we've got a few more. David Patton and the 09 Reg Daly in row one. Steve Lovely in the 54. Crash Craddock in the 65. Spuds McKenzie in car number 68. The 73 of Craig Vance. 93, Wendell Daly. Lloyd Moritz in the 03. The 17 of Robert Patton. And Purple Perry Fleming, who wasn't even supposed to run this thing, in the number five. David Patton, Reg Daly in the 09, Steve Lovely, Crash Craddock, Spuds McKenzie, and Craig Vance. Here we go. Be feature for the Crunch Bunch. and Reg Daly. One to three, Craig Vance up the inside. Keep an eye on Vance, the 73, former track champion here at Thunder Road. Took a couple of years off, and he's back. He's back and running well. 73, Vance. Landed on him in a turn one and two. Vance in the 73 goes to the number three spot where does he? Steve Lovely back on the outside. In the 54, good battle for third place. Patton way out in front in the 0-1. The 0-9 Reg Daly, and now Craig Vance is third. Spuds McKenzie follows him through for four. Keep an eye on the 73. He's coming on. Craig Vance reeling in the number two car. The 0-9 Reg Daly. Vance on the back straightaway with Spuds McKenzie in hot pursuit, trying to gain some ground. Lap car is racing two abreast at about eight miles an hour. Here comes Vance, 73, up to the outside for second. Loses ground, and here comes the Spuds to at him. Spuds McKenzie on the inside, Craig Vance on the outside. McKenzie now for third place. Craig Vance up the outside. Good three-way battle for the number two spot. 09, Daly, 73, Vance McKenzie in the 68. Out in front, the 01, David Patton, all by his lonesome. Vance takes over second. Daly now is third. Spuds McKenzie, the 68, is fourth. But I don't think they're going to catch the 01. David Patton way out in front, trying to make his way around the lap car. Not having a whole lot of luck. Ten down, ten to go. Ten laps remaining, and Craig Vance is coming on. The 73 is pulling up now. Patton in the 01 is losing ground to the number two car. Oh one, David Patton, 73, Craig Vance, as uh, Lloyd Moritz does a little agricultural excursioning. The 09 of Reg Daly, then Spuds McKenzie outside of the 68.
The Spudster looking on the inside, whacking and smacking. Whoop, 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 he got him. There goes Reg Daly. And the battle now is for the lead. 01, Pat 73, Craig Vance going at it. Craig Vance, the former track champion, in second and looking for more as they hit three. Latch beginning to wind down now. Oop, the 65 blows up in front of the leaders. Here comes Vance. Craig Vance looking to move. Way up to the top of the track. Daly pushes him even higher and holds on to it. The 01 is not going to be an easy man to pass. The 01 is not going to be an easy man to pass. David Patton and the 01 to the inside holds it. Yellow is out. Yellow, yellow, fellas, yellow. Hello. Where did the 01 go? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yellow, I got it. Well, I wouldn't pull out in front of those guys. Crash Craddock in the 65, I think his motor gave up the ghost about two laps ago, and that's where he's come to rest. 73 Vance, here they come. Green flag is out. Whoa, the other one's whacking him. 73 Vance on the outside trying to take it. The other one is going to have to hit him quick. He's willing, he's able, he does it. Here they come, white flag is out. White flag, oh, he got him good that time. Look out! Stocking. Six cars on the track, five of them wreck, and Spuds McKenzie from seventh place is your winner. I think Craig Vance, despite getting punted, is third. Listen to the Spudster. He's going to blow it up, taking a victory. Look out. Watch out, because he's a little wacky anyway. This guy's on ether under the best of circumstances. I'll tell you, this is going to be the quickest victory lane in the history of this racetrack. Craig. <laughs> Third place, despite getting hammered on the back stretch. Craig Vance. Boy, that was fun, huh? Oh, yeah, that was loads of fun. I think he got you pretty good, though. Ah, uh, not too bad. We can straighten it out. I'd like to thank my sponsors, Vance Tree Contractors, Ams Oil, fuel donated by uh, Neil Sargent, and also McGill's Auto out of North Danville. Nice job. I'd love to talk, but I'm getting wet. Third, Craig Vance. Second place, Steve. Steve Lovely. I have no idea how it happened. I don't either. I okay, just, we'll I, take it. I was following Spuds, and he went through, so I went through, and... Thanks a lot. Good job. Steve Lovely, 54 second, and the Waco is in, Vic, I don't know, sixth place. Here's ACC late model, and guys, behind the wheel of this flying Tiger entry. The Pepsi Flying Tiger is ready to come out for their first event of the afternoon. And it's my pleasure now to introduce to you the voice of Airborne International Raceway, Blacksburg, New York, Mr. Brian Goose. Thank you, David Moody. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Two heats for the Pepsi Flying Tigers this afternoon in this program. Their heats will be 10 laps each, and they are looking forward to a 25-lap feature coming up very shortly. As they come out and arrive on the, on the track, uh, inside of row number one will be number 36. Number 36, Scott Carpenter, out of Waterbury, Prairie, Vermont. On the outside, the rookie driver, number 19, David Gay. On the inside of row number two, out of Williston, Vermont, number 57, Jim Barton. On the outside of row number two, the 12, of Bob McCaskill. On the troisième rangée, cinquième position de Bob, la voiture numéro 67, Flipper Owen. Ah, que les pilotes s'amènent toujours sur le circuit. À ses côtés, en sixième position, la voiture numéro 32, de Jean-Paul Cyr. Jean-Paul Cyr de Milton, Vermont. 
En septième position, la voiture 71, Russell Arnold. Et l'autre recrue dans ce circuit de la soirée de Tiger, il est numéro 47, Mike Redfield. Qui conduit la voiture, les voitures qui accélèrent maintenant au départ. Pour la série, la voiture numéro 47 de Mike Redfield, qui est toujours sur le fond de tout le vote de qualification. Tigers have put on a great show here. They can go rewind into the corners. They are turning at approximately 30 seconds on this 0.89 mile course. Down on the far side as they get through the dry oval, Scott Carpenter. Scott Carpenter assuming the lead. The 57 of Jim Barton at a Williston Vermont in second, Bob McCaskill third. Watch to the back of the pack now, ladies and gentlemen, as the double zero of two villains looking for a way to break through and get himself in position and to earn himself a good starting position in the Pepsi International Flying Tiger situation now 25 lap feature coming up later this afternoon. As we look down, Scott Carpenter starts to put a huge lead over the second place car of Jim Barton, number 57. McCaskill taking on the, the number 69 of Flipper Irwin. Flipper Irwin, number 69 of David Kane, the rookie driver. Now, 
as the racing is really tight to the back of the pack. A number of cars with from Miller, they're all driving there together along with the other last year. Here they come, through the dry oval, they will come down to the white flag this time. Don Carpenter. Le 
International Series for them. This is event number three of this series for Pepsi Flying Tiger drivers. And now, your leader coming out of the trial, number... An upgraded, ladies and gentlemen, the 30 laps on this On a changé le nombre de tours, c'est 30 tours que cette séance des pilotes pour la finale. Il y a deux tours de compétition, c'est le final de 30 tours. Le meneur, le numéro 46, Doug Hall, qui est en première position, la voiture numéro 46. Le 17, sur la deuxième position, sont détectés. Après le plan, c'est le 36. En cinquième maintenant le numéro 1, Rod Mead, qui s'en est maintenant pour la quatrième place. Rod Mead allait derrière. Il a tenté de prendre la quatrième position que détient Rod McCaskill. Mais plus loin devant le numéro 46, c'est le bonheur. En soyant des vacances, on peut se faire de moi. Here we go, down through the car, over with this horse, 
followed by Governor McCaffrey and Lee continue to battle it out. Glenn Wagon and now Joe Thomas in the 66 Thunderbird, Jim Silly back in there as well. Brian Hoare making a charge as they start to come on through out of the dry oval. Back down to the start finish. It is Doug Hoare, your leader once again. Got Governor